this was a new method to bring down the barriers of segregation. It was a risk that brought present day rewards. And it was inherently dangerous. It was a different time in America and changing oppressive conditions required drastic action. All of this required an inordinate amount of perseverance. Getting ahead brought a share of hardship. We sat down and they took us up, took us to jail. Seeking progress had its moments of physical pain. A group of young white men attacked us, beat us, and left us lying in a pool of blood. Honor has come to the pioneers 50 years later, but they say there's still unfinished business. I've got a mortgage and I've got rent to pay for being on this earth. And that is a debt that I absolutely never finish paying. Maybe I make a down payment on it and maybe I make a subsequent payment, but I'll never finish paying. And I know that. I mean, to whom much is given, much is expected. This is a WVTV Black History Month special presentation. Sitting in to move forward. A burning desire moved thousands to take risk in a quest for equal rights. Hello and welcome. I'm Steve Crump. America's lunch counters will always be remembered for raising social awareness in the 1960s. Largely located in five and dime stores, they were the dividing lines and battlegrounds for conflict where segregation was the clear enemy. Most of the warriors were students who came from college campuses. The fight began here in North Carolina and their efforts were carried out in an era with no fax machines, websites, or text messages. They just put their bodies in the way. Decades after laws were changed and goals achieved, many of those who were called troublemakers have gone from being reviled to now revered. Oh. How you doing? Good. Celebrated events, honoring those who made lasting and meaningful contributions in erasing society's long-standing legal barriers. In life's golden years, retired Charlotte business executive Franklin McCain is committed to walking a purposeful talk. His enlightened path calls him to preach and spread a personal gospel that started more than a half a century ago. You need vision. That is to see where you are and where it is you want to go. McCain's towering frame is immortalized at his college alma mater, North Carolina A&T. That's where this granite, bronze, and gold line tribute also recognizes the